Okay, so in this section, I would like to show you how you can uh, record some commands and actions, uh, record Mac scripts so you can use them uh, later and automate some certain tasks that you might find yourself doing every day. So I'm going to start by selecting, uh, this is a finished model. So I want to start by selecting them. As you can see, I get my select R ground. So that is one command. So what I want to do at the moment, I just want to assign uh, this guy is shader, so it's going to be if my, if my favorite. It's going to be AI standard surface. As you can see, I get the results. So it's basically this is the this is the uh, first uh, thing that I have. So it's the first command. So I want to copy that, connect other. I want to paste it here. So I'm going to call this um, assign assign shader, for example. Uh, next thing you want to do is just want to change the name of the shader. You're going to call it gray. Uh, gray underscore. Uh, you're going to call this SHD for shader. You see, you get another another action or another command here. The name in the command is, uh, name is rename. So I'm just going to copy that one there. Paste it in here. And last thing you want to do is just uh, since I just I don't want to see any specular information, I'm just going to turn back down all of the way for my specularity. You see this uh, the attribute is um, the command is set adder grade underscore to say specular set to zero. So I need to just copy that, paste it in here, and I have my first steps done. Next thing I want to do, I always want to comment my macro script. So in this case I'm gonna create a light. It's gonna be an area light. And then I'm just gonna go into uh, back to Maya and I'm gonna uh, you can see if I deselect it does this goes to uh, the select uh, and the flag is clear, so CL for clear. I want to go to create light and I want to do an area light. So when I do that, uh, you can see this is the command, so all I need to do is just copy that. Right. As you can see here, um, and I, what I'm doing is just basically recording all of the stuff that I'm doing so I can do it later on automatically. I don't need to do this uh, you know, again and again. Um, so another thing that I want to do now is uh, basically what I want to move my light, maybe in position it, right? uh, maybe give it size. So I just want to do this. Uh, but you can see you get a bunch of results like move, move, move. So, but I really don't want that. What I want to do is just input here in the in the in this um, channel box. So for the moment, I don't want to have uh, a big um, light. So I'm just going to set this to say three, for example. I'm going to copy that. You can see the set adder. Uh, that's that's the actual command. So set adder. So what I need to do is just copy that, paste it in here, and then I want to uh, copy, for example, my my translate y and x. So in this case, it's set to this uh, 199, 395, for example. But I see already. I don't, I'm not going to go through all of these. I want to show you uh, the one that I've already created. So you can see I've already have all of these stuff in here. So I've created my light, renamed it, I set the out to shadow uh, and um, rename it. I renamed the light, as you can see, to shadow caster. Then I I set the attribute for translate Z and Y to 25. Then I rotated it. Uh, then I, I changed the, the exposure. So whatever you do, um, whatever you do here. So if I go to, um, for example, this light and I change the exposure, say, to something like 20. Um, you get that here, so all you need to do is just copy that attribute again, copy it, and you know, like, again, just paste it there. Uh, so this one, you can see it's got a name already, so I want to copy that one. So there you go. And I'm back to business, so shadow cancer. So what I want to do now, I just want to show you how quickly you can do this. So I basically I repeated, I repeated this command, you know, um, again to, for another light, then repeated it for another light, and then at the end, uh, I'm going to clear this so I can show you, I created a circle, uh, so uh, where's my nerves here, I created a circle, and you can see I get the command, so to create my circle, this is here, so I just uh, basically copy it and pasted it here, I rename it, so I grabbed that from there as well. I uh, set the attributes on, on the scale for the for that particular uh, circle, and, and then I continued. So 
then what I did is I selected, as you can see, I selected my, my first light, then selected the second light, then selected the other one, then select, lastly, I selected the light position and I, hit a, I did a parent constraint. Okay, so now that I have recorded all of these uh, steps here, I'm going to grab my, my, uh, my macro. And I'm going to, uh, until here, I'm just going to go and run that. You can see that makes me this uh, light position right here, this light position, that I can then uh, basically scale and reposition, so put it anywhere I want, just like that. If I go, if I go to my Arnold render view and I play, you can see I have my, my dinosaur. Then all I want to do is basically just change stuff like um, my exposure for all of my lights. Say 18, for example, and then I can always, you know, take my my light position and just start you know, changing the light of this. You can see how how quickly you can get this job done once you recorded it. So that's it for this.